And we're back. Right. More Sea of Thieves, like usual. Yep, there's the ship. Raise the sails to half to uh, like 60% mast. I don't shoot myself up again. Please do not. Why? Not convenient. Huh? It's always not convenient. Got that way we're here. Wait, Kyler. Look at the ship behind us. Not behind us, I mean in front of us. Ooh. It's uh, about 50% out of the water again. It's not a shipwreck, that's a ship. Yeah, this is a shipwreck. What do you think? Yeah, see what you can grab from it? Especially if you can manage to grab the, uh... Okay, I'm gonna raise the sails completely. Drop an anchor. Then we're gonna re-raise it. Okay, Kyle, you wanna help... Help, uh, unload everything off this place? Oh, good. Oh, yeah, just take it off and put it right here. Free loot. Okay, I'm gonna go search for the uh, Reaper chest, okay? Alright. And we can technically make a U turn, U -turn and go, go back, back around. No, I don't think we're gonna sell there. We're gonna go and sell at Reapers because we had, didn't put down. We didn't put away the flag. Yeah, so yeah, yeah we're, we're definitely gonna sell at Reapers again. What? Because I'm just gonna send a save up my gold now and out everything that I wanted. Yeah, honestly, for gold right now, Reapers is actually the way to go, because, uh, if you were to get one specific emissary, you wouldn't get as much total gold. Plus, this, uh, teaming up with these guys is giving us a good amount of backup gold, isn't it? Oh, found the Reapers. Yes. Yep. There's basically three different spot possible spawns for it. Yep, you can get Reapers. What? I got the reaper's chest, let's get the other one. I don't think there's another reaper's chest in here, so I'm gonna just keep searching yeah, for the- another reaper's chest. Another, another chest chest. Ah. They're about to drown, by the way. I don't know. Make sure you utilize the air pocket that just is conveniently here. So, I really don't like these like this, because you can't swim straight down. Yes. Moderately annoying. Very so, by the way, so you want to hear a quick summary of the uh, sea forts that we're going to be doing? Okay, what is the summary? So, so you know the ocean crawlers, right? Yes, I know the ocean crawler, basically one of them. They're the back out one. Yeah, the, basically the, uh, the one clam dude that we fought and the other ones. Yes. Basically, we're going to be fighting a bunch of those and a few sirens. That sounds like hell. But we have we have we'll have plenty of access to the uh what they call um we have plenty of access to uh I think they're they're called uh actually let's let's drop off that reaper chest first but we'll have good access to uh the tridents so we'll be able to uh, use those on them instead. And make sure when you're using that with the tridents, don't use the big attack. Only use the small attack because it uses less charge. And it's more efficient. Is that everything yeah. in there? Yep, we come out. I got one. Mid harpoon you out? Yeah, harpoon me out. Okay, uh, hold up. You're gonna need to turn around. Okay, ready? Okay, ready. Yep, ready. Right now, to prepare to Reaper's hideout. Um. Reaper's hideout is uh, from our direction right now, uh, southwest. Oh boy. 
That uh, that, uh that skeleton fleet over there? Appears to be right over Reapers. Oh, that giant skeleton ship, the giant ship in the sky. Up. That way. Oh, yeah, I see it. Yeah, that. Uh, that appears to be hovering right o top, over top Reapers. That is very bad. Eh, just a little bit inconvenient. Never mind, no, wait, never mind. I'm just stupid. Maybe. I might not be. I'm unsure. So straight ahead from where we are right now. Never mind. Nope, they're ho hovering right over Reapers. I vote that we go somewhere else. Yeah, probably. Yeah, let's, uh, let's see one of those sea forts since we're here, shall we? Yeah, so we're not at the sea fort, but we're in the we should be in the general area of one of them. Let's see. Shrine shrine. Where is the uh, treasury? Straight north. Yes. Hmm? Yeah. Here, hold up, let me try one. Here, switch up your switch up your instrument. Hold up, let me see what this person is doing. Yeah, our alliance member is just uh, doing their own thing. They might be going after that skeleton fleet, which would be kind of surprising. Or they're going out. They're following us. I can't really tell. Yeah, I don't even know at this point. Let's check where we are compared to the treasury. So slightly to our left. If we sell something, do they get the gold as well? Huh? Yeah. It splits. It uh, gives them a small. It gives. It gives them a good fragment of it. But we don't lose any of it, so it's just basically free gold. Which means I don't really understand why people don't team up more and work together. Because it's free loot. Yeah, it makes everything better generally. Meaning because yeah. there's less enemies, more loot. In the end, the only reason that those don't work often is because of uh, hostile reapers, which have basically been abolished now that there is the PvP on demand system. There's the there's the treasury. You see that blue spot? The, the blue spot is over there. Yep. Okay, so that's where we're going next. Yep, that's where we're going. That is the treasury. Sailing Star, yeah, that's gonna be a great name for my next ship. Yes. Especially when we can have three people on, because I have uh, I have uh, at least three different friends we can te technically play. Hmm. Yes. I don't know if we have enough. Like, like, the raft of viewer that's watching this video. Hmm. Yeah, screw it. Someone's actually in the comments. Vote. Just ask. We'll just let you right in. They began the racing of the sails a little bit. Nice. Oh hey, I got class one of minutes playing shanties aboard the ship. Amazing.
Yep, there it is. There's the treasury. Is this another shrine? Huh? Is this another one of those shrine things? Uh, no. Same thing, you go underwater, but it's a treasury. So there's just treasure that's down there. Uh, there's a bunch of treasure, but you have to fight for it. Yes. So we're gonna park over right over top of it for convenience. And we're probably gonna... Mm. Should we anchor or should we not? That's an anchor. Yeah, that's anchor. For, for the uh, fact that we... Let me check the horizon really quickly. I'd say we're good. Yes, ready? We are perfect. Let's go. Yes, we are ready. Head down. The fact that you can't look fully down still annoys me. See, yeah, this is a treasury. And you see that giant, pretty obvious entrance to the ship? Yes. Yeah, that's the entrance. This whole place is basically an underwater arena. And if you see a trident down here, grab it. Should we have taken the trident from up? No, no, no. It's always good to have one spare one for PvP combat. Yes. So then you just gotta find your way in. Remember that the, uh, the gate, you have to uh, attack the, the uh, plant. Yeah. It's actually very nice. Oh. The underwater stuff's really cool looking. It's cool how they managed to fit all this in in that period of time. Yes. It is actually very cool looking. Yep. Oh, yep, this dude got wheeled. Dagger Teeth Outpost. Okay, what? To me, it just said Dagger Teeth Outpost. I don't think we're Dagger Teeth mo no more, to be honest with you. Okay, make sure you, uh, uh, what do you want? Let me think. Yeah, problem. So, what I recommend is actually saving these, uh, tridents for the, uh, what are they called, uh, they try to save the tridents for when you're, uh, fighting the, uh, sirens, because that will help. Okay, let me think. Let me check what my stream time, my video time is. Yeah, I'm good. We could do this whole thing that's in that one video. It's so many tridents. Let's go. Come on. Let me go. With Grab a trident? trident? Yeah. There's plenty of tridents already here, and a few explosive tags, which use them on the hordes of uh, things that you'll see in a second. Oh, skeleton. Don't even bother with weapons. Just use swords. Yeah, they are a little bit tougher since I'm in the game, but... They aren't too difficult to fight. Yeah, make sure you also make sure you grab some food from these uh things because there's always food here. Oh, watch out for the keg. Oh shit. Keg disarm. Keg disarmed. 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 I've just eaten raw pork and now I'm gonna throw up on the skeletons. Now watch out. Get moving again. I can't disarm this one right here, but don't use the blunderbuss when there's kegs involved because this whole place is currently rigged to blow. We're gonna change your weapons. We're gonna change your weapons. Huh? I need to change your weapons. Uh, you, you kind of gotta die for that. Where Preferably she... not during these waves, though, because uh. You die during these waves, we all die because uh, this whole place is currently rigged to detonate. 
Oh, speaking of detonating, water. Make sure you grab a. Uh, make sure you grab one of the tridents right now because uh, now would be where you use them. Can we die down here? Well, the water here. Can we drown? Uh, technically yes, but you can also just die to the uh, them. But it actually is recommended. What weapon do you have right now in, as your main weapon? That's my main. That's my main weapon. I have one of those. Yeah, actually, just keep it. It's not even worth removing it. Yeah, come over here. There's a uh, spot you can stand on. Oh, god damn it, god damn it, god damn it. Can you move? I need to. I got you. Yeah, the double shot is at least is adequate for killing these guys. There you exist. Your continued existence pisses me the fuck off. That one just got nuked. So you know when when the water descends, but you just gotta jump. Now make sure you drop your trident. I oh yeah, we just got detonated. We really should have detonated those kegs earlier, shouldn't we? Yes. Well, that would have been one hell of a way to wipe a wave, wouldn't it? Yes. <laughs> Uh, I earned milestone class one in trips to the ferry of the damned. That's pretty good. It's good. We haven't been to the ferry of the damned. I'll be honest, I forgot what this place looks like. Oh yeah, sea crawlers. You gotta take care of these guys. They're sea crawlers? Uh, yeah. My people! My people! I have returned! Don't get too excited. We're still killing them. I change my, what should I change my weapon out for the blunderbuss? What should I change it to? Uh, pistol is the best general option. I Me. Mean. Okay, pistol it sounds good. I saw you using an eye of reach. Yeah, I'm using the eye of reach because I have pretty decent aim. I'm gonna use the pistol though. Yeah, you use whatever you want to use. Remember, you gotta open it. Oh, yeah. Oh, this thing out of ammo. Good stuff. Next yeah, wave. Oh boy, more water. Grab a trident. I already grabbed one. Down and get one quick. You gotta make sure to fight the tridents at their own game, right? Yes. I mean, it's not, it's not the tridents. We're gonna go to Hogwarts to do some spells and shit. Fight the uh, sirens at their own game. Yes, I will kill these stupid. Oh, there's the there's the siren guards. They're a little bit harder to kill. Not substantially, but they're just kind of a pain. Get your ass back here! Dead. Get detonated. I'm gonna throw a fucking keg at them. That's basically what that is. It's just a throwable keg. Shit. Don't, don't throw them while they're attacking down here. Only do it if you know it for a fact you've got a shot. Otherwise, just wait. How? Oh. 
get vaporized. The, so the, by the way, the small one is a lot easier to hit your shots with. If you're using the small attack. Bro, just shot nudes! From two different shots as well. Up, oh, down we go. Actually, make sure you just, just use the trident all the time, except make sure there's always uh, two remaining at all times. So that when you uh, eventually have to... Uh, is there any other trident other than the trident of the dark tides? Uh, not yet. And I doubt there's ever going to be, to be honest. Oh god! Oh, he's losing! Oh, he's little shits. Also, I'm running to that trident's can run out. Yeah, I remember that. Oh, big boy! Big boy! Big boy! Big, big boy. boy be gone. Big boys! Big boys! Two. Yeah. Big boy be gone! Trident of the bitch. Headshot. I'm I finally- I'm just using a crossbow on these guys. What do you do when you get killed by a uh, pirate wielding a crossbow? Or what is more accurately a, a small ballista? You would do kill yourself. More or less. Or, well, no, you more or less just get uh, vaporized. Yes. Yeah, by the way, these guys are the only thing to spawn in these rooms. It's just okay, it's so just what, the what type uh, of siren is next? Huh? What type of siren is next? There's only two. Except for when there's the boss. What's the boss? You will see. It. It's, it's not much of a boss to be honest. We just co our shots just collided midair. Well mid water, but same thing. How do you know when you're trying to run out? Uh, the little light on it? You see the little crystal? Yes, I see it. It starts going dim when it's about to run out. So can it like recharge? Uh, no, it just, it just, you'll, you'll see. Make sure you use it to its fullest capacity so you're not wasting anything. Make sense? Okay, I think we're gonna switch over if I'm correct. Oh, no, we got another siren wave. We are racist to the merfolk. Get the fuck out of here. Nah, just these merfolk. The other ones are fine. Yeah, just these specific types of merfolk. The race is on the floor. Oh, down we go. Whee! Yeah, make sure you always jump free. Make sure you always jump down before, you know. So I think if I'm correct, I might be getting close to the boss. The yep, there it is. The the first? Okay. Hey, the boss is here. It's the big old crap. Yeah. yeah, I just tanked it, by the way. Oh boy, get moving. Got it. It's dead. And we did it. Just like that. And look at this, we got access to the loot room. Let's go. Right here. Okay, make sure you don't put any of the things in there yet, because we still gotta to uh, take our rightful uh, stuff. And make sure you, that for all of these, you fill up the chest beforehand, okay? Okay, fill up the chest beforehand. 
Yeah, make sure every one of these chests is full of something before you uh, give it to the mermaid. So castaway chest, we should just put this in here. We shouldn't have any problems as long as we're at least semi-smart with this. Yeah, with all these ex these ones right here, you can just uh, stash them. Just start stashing stuff in them. Oh, ancient tribute chest too. Nice. Grab uh, some gold. And there's a few other things. Let's see, is, there, is that everything here? Yep, that one's full. I like the ships on the loot. I know. These are pretty decent for loot, but they're just kind of slow. I like them. I'm gonna keep this place. Okay, oh, now siren gems too. These are pretty valuable. Okay. okay. So just start, yeah, just start jamming things into the person. Into the uh, mermaid. Yes. Coffer of Age Grog. That sounds terrible. Yeah, it, no, it's technically speaking, it should be really, really good in theory. Because who knows how many millions of years this, that thing's probably been down here. Is that everything here? Yes. If you wanted to, we could technically stash a bunch of uh, tridents for a boss in the future. Yes. Okay, let's stash a bunch of the tridents. Make sure they're the full ones, though. Don't go for the empty ones. Okay, go for the ones that are over here. Go for the ones that are on a rock and stuff that are fully charged, okay? Mm-hmm. Is there a ton of fully charged ones in here? Yeah, there's a few fully charged ones, but you need to go up. You need to shoot up. Oh, you need to shoot up. Which... Yeah. There's a few fully charged ones in here, and we can Why store up the... Why shooting anything in this game so goddamn fun? It's a pirate game. Like, even just firing your gun off at nothing? It's just so goddamn insane. Okay, so I'm going to end this video here, and I'll do another video at some point in the future when I find something less boring. There's something slightly less boring.